My name is Gantare. I was born and partly raised in Lithuania and uh, for the past 10 years I've been living and studying in the Netherlands. I've been studying linguistics and for Erasmus I've decided to go back to Lithuania and in this video I would like to explain you why I'm going to Lithuania and also give you some background information. So let's start. So ever since I was a little girl, like uh, about 9 or 10 years old, I've always imagined my life in Lithuania and uh, there were certain things I was really good at, for example, Lithuanian language and I always thought I would study in Lithuania and would go to a university there and would study Lithuanian language and become a Lithuanian language teacher maybe. I was really good at it. <laughs> Even my friends now say that I remember you being the best in Lithuanian language in our class and you always had really good grades and that's true I've never failed any exam. So yeah, um, I thought I would stay in Lithuania I would learn Lithuanian and that's it but at the age of 12 I suddenly moved to the Netherlands and my entire dream of being a Lithuanian teacher or studying Lithuanian basically uh, disappeared because here in the Netherlands nobody speaks Lithuanian, nobody cares about Lithuanian language, there are no schools, universities whatsoever um, teaching Lithuanian uh, so I had to come up with a new plan. So. Um, Basically, I finished the high school here in the Netherlands. I really loved languages, not only Lithuanian, any language I uh, was learning, I loved it. Uh, so I decided to study um, international business and languages. I didn't want to go to university, so this is kind of a university of applied sciences, which is a bit beneath um, university. I did it for a year, but I, I hate, hate, hate math, economics, whatsoever, don't give me numbers, I hate numbers. So um, after a year I finished the first year perfectly and I decided to quit because like half of my entire uh, study was economics and numbers and I hated it so I didn't want to continue with that. So I decided to go to university, um, <laughs> crazy idea, but I did it and um, now I'm almost done with my second year of uh, language and culture studies and my major is linguistics. So um, for my study I have to either do an internship here in the Netherlands or outside, but usually it's the Netherlands, or uh, go study abroad. So I knew I would go study abroad, I just wasn't sure about my destination. Uh, I wanted to go to a country which I would really love and there are two countries in the world that I love unconditionally and those are Lithuania and Portugal. Um, this was really hard to decide which of the two I really wanted. Um, I had made like pros and cons lists of both countries because I love Portugal. Um, that would be a really nice new experience and the weather is great compared to Lithuania. But there are so more things that I love about Lithuania that I just had to choose Lithuania. So Lithuania was my number one choice and Portugal was my number two because I had to give in at least two choices. That was uh, the deadline for choosing a country and like uh, for uploading and giving some papers and documents was on I believe 1st of December of last year. Oh, today is 31st, 31st of May 2018. So almost half a year ago, yeah it's half a year ago, uh, was the deadline for <clears throat> the choice and I believe in about February I received a letter from the university here that I was accepted to go to Vilnius, Lithuania and I was so happy with the choice. Um, I will explain a bit later on why. So I had to wait until April 15th because that was the date when the university in Lithuania uh, opened up their application for uh, the next uh, semester in um, fall. <laughs> uh, so, um, but then I had some big issues. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, 
I didn't want to go to Lithuania to study basic Erasmus courses. I wanted to go to Lithuania and study Lithuanian language. And there are some Erasmus courses for Lithuanian language, but those are meant for people that don't speak Lithuanian yet or just don't speak Lithuanian very well. So I wasn't allowed to do those courses because I already speak some... Well, I speak Lithuanian. Um, even though it's becoming less and less every minute. <laughs> so I was wanted to do some other courses and I was interested in linguistics and in Lithuanian language. And the problem in Lithuania, uh, at least at the University of Vilnius, is that there are no bachelor degree uh, courses of linguistics there. So um, the dean of the faculty um, allowed me to do master courses of uh, linguistics if I wanted to. Uh, so I decided to do like I believe two master courses and um, I've also found a course to study Lithuanian language which their basic, their basic courses are meant for uh, foreigners but they have courses for people who can speak Lithuanian already and um, I decided to do that course too. Uh, so in total I have 45 European credits. Is that a European? Is that what it stands for? I believe not. ECs. Anyway, EC or ECTS. Uh, 45. Uh, so um, when I was starting to apply to the University of Vilnius after 15th of April, uh, I had the problem that I couldn't um, like they had this study plan and you had to fill it in but you could only choose courses from Erasmus because there was a whole lot list of courses and you need needed to choose um, between those courses and um, my courses weren't there because I'm not a standard bitch <laughs> so um, I couldn't fill it in um, so I basically just chose random courses and I also had to upload a learning agreement in, and in that learning agreement were the, actually, the actual courses that I wanted to do in Lithuania and I've written them a message uh, that um, they needed to look at my learning agreement for the actual courses I'm going to do because study plan doesn't work for me and uh, I received some emails or like messages uh, from someone there that just couldn't understand it and emailed her and explained my situation but she just didn't ever reply to me and then after a week she emailed me again and I just really couldn't understand why she wouldn't read my emails and just answer to my emails instead of keeping on with the same thing over and over again. Anyway, um... So then I decided to call her, but her number wasn't working, so I called somebody else from the Erasmus exchange people in Lithuania, explained my whole situation, and like in two minutes it was done. And then I believe I had to wait like a week or two, so I believe around 1st of May, I don't know exactly, I received a letter of acceptance from Vilnius, Lithuania. So now I'm 100% sure that I'm going to Lithuania and I'm really excited about it. And I already have an apartment there, which I have found like in January or already. So I guess I should explain the reasons why I decided to go to Lithuania. So first of all, um, just like I said, I always loved Lithuanian language. I always wanted to learn more about it. So the only place I could do that is of course in Lithuania. And also, I love Lithuanian food. I really can't live without Lithuanian food, so uh, that's a whole big plus. Also, um, I love Vilnius as a city, it's such a beautiful city and I can't wait to share it with you because I'm going to vlog in Lithuania every week. So I'm really excited to uh, share my beautiful country with you, I love it so much. And I just love the nature of Lithuania. <laughs> I even love crazy cold Lithuanian winters, which is crazy because I hate cold weather, but somehow in Lithuania 
I don't know, it's just not that cool to me anymore because I don't know, I just love it. And also I have family in Lithuania, I even have, still have friends in Lithuania, not many, but I still have friends. Ah. Uh, but yeah, my family, I still have, like my entire family lives in Lithuania, except my mom, she lives here in the Netherlands. But everyone else, my sisters, my father, my nieces, nephews, everyone is in Lithuania and I don't see them very often. So this is a great way to see them again. And also my Lithuanian is getting worse, like I just said, and I don't want my mother tongue to disappear from me. Living in Lithuania would be a great way, obviously, to improve my Lithuanian back again. Uh, because when I moved away from Lithuania, I was only 12 years old, so my vocabulary blah, blah. so my vocabulary of Lithuanian is that of a 12 year old. I don't know any academic uh, terms in Lithuania whatsoever. I don't know so many things about Lithuania and I really want to learn more about it. I believe those are the main reasons. Oh, also Lithuania is cheap. I'm used to like Dutch prices. Uh, and compared to the Netherlands, Lithuania is pretty cheap. And um, I also would love to uh, visit Latvia and Estonia. Um, and I think from Lithuania it would be really easy to go there. So yeah, those are the reasons why I want to go to Lithuania. Okay, so once again, uh, starting from the end of August, I will be uploading weekly vlogs here on this channel and I would share my beautiful, beautiful country and the beautiful city of Vilnius with you. So um, yeah, be excited about that because I'm really excited and this will be a, such a roller coaster to me, I'm sure about it. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it and I hope so are you. So I uh, hope to see you next time and have a nice day, evening, night, morning, whatever. <laughs> Bye!